Hello Leo, welcome to Divine Day Buddha. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here for the reading of mid-October 2020. It's a general and love reading. I want to thank you for your patience, for subscribing, liking, sharing and commenting. Let's see what's going on for you. As we know, October and November are just, they're just an uphill battle. So there's work to be done, people, situations and things that need refixing are coming back from the past. Wow, okay. Um, we are dealing with matters of the past right now. So let's see what's going on. As we know, the whole world is changing, not only our outside world, but our own inside world, as well as our environment. So we've got the Three of Cups at the foundation. Three of Cups could be um, could be a card of reconciliation. It's a card of celebration. But the Emperor, which is Aries and Taurus energies for me, I do see the Emperor as being harsh. Uh, in other words, work needs to be done. We need to stand tall. We need to become the Emperor, take on the energies of the Emperor. Or this could be someone that... Uh, you are dealing with okay doesn't have to be an Aries Taurus could be anyone they're taking on the energy of the Emperor and we are in retrograde Mars season which is lasting the second half of 2020 so we know that it's all about redoing things from it's as though we're building from scratch but there is a breakdown okay at our core and we're going to start building we're still in those tough energies though. So what's going on in the recent past is I see the Three of Cups. You may have had a reconciliation or you may have met this person out drinking with friends, out with family, okay? We know that the Emperor is someone that's very temperamental. He's quite fiery, doesn't show emotion. So this could be a father. This could be a father figure. Let's see what's going on in the recent past. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles says, work, work, work. Dear Leo, this is the Virgo card. Some of you may be on the cusp. As I've been saying, it's all about doing the job, doing the work. The Emperor does remind me of the Saturnian energies of Capricorn, and um, Capricorn is the 10th house, so it's got to do with our status what our highest goals are, what we are working towards. What is on your mind? We have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, which is a juggling act. Okay, so things are still up in the air. There may be a decision that is necessary to be made. For some of you, if this is another person, because we've got the Three of Cups here, and you've got the Two of Pentacles, which is you needing to make a decision. Could you be dealing with two different people? What is the outcome? We've got the sun. So we've also got the energy of Leo, which is your energy mainly. Yes, some of you could be dealing with another Leo. We will not rule that out. But the sun is clarity, warmth, love, childlike. It's coming from the soul, you know, our soul being nurtured, being loved. And this is also a card of generosity, I must say, as Leo is very generous. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is Cupid's love messages. This is the energy picking up, getting quicker. There is movement here. This could be flight travel. We have had the lockdown for so long now. And we know that it's it's not easy. Okay? It's not easy as a, you know, the doors are closed. If you are possibly dealing with someone that could be at a distance to you, What's at the bottom here? But these are messages of love. We've got the Ace of Pentacles here. And the Ace of Pentacles in this deck, in the Light Seer's Tarot, is growing roots, as you could see here. The roots have grown, so you've been loving, nurturing, working towards something long-lasting, something stable, could be something to do with your money. This could even be that the messages are coming in, that you're getting that promotion, let's say. And we've got the Page of Pentacles beneath that. So you've been studying. You've been studying a way to get to your goal. And this is a very positive card here. 
Leo, let's see what's going on in love for you. What's going on in love? I'm using the Whispers of Love Oracle. For Leo, please, Spirit. Leo, mid-October, or whenever you receive this message, then it should be important for you. Leo, please, Leo. Leo and love. What's going on in love for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, and North Node, if you are familiar with that. Thank you, Spirit. We have be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. And this is a number four. It's a 40, but it breaks down to a four. And the emperor is a number four. So this could be the person that you're trying to manifest into your life. As we know the emperor is someone that's been through his own experiences. Now, it doesn't have to be a he, it could be a she. Um, and the emperor is someone that we can usually depend on to take lead right so for some of you of course where business is concerned this could be a boss this could be a promotion as i said or this could be you yes promoting yourself to the ceo the sun is very uh, positive news here now i'm not reading reversal so the message will not be the same for everyone so i need to i need to mention what i feel and i will be taking more cards let's look at the astrology with the Black Moon Astrology cards and see how the stars are playing out for you. Now the Sun, even in the reverse, it's still a positive card for me because when I have a reverse card, it means you're not there yet. So it could be all about timing. What is before the Sun? It's the Moon. Now we are having a second consecutive full Moon in, this, in the month of October and it's happening on Halloween. So that full moon will be in the sign of Taurus, which is a money house, but it's also the house of self-worth, okay, and the physical body, okay, and the sun can also mean physical healing. Two cards have fallen out, and we have Aquarius, I know, which is your house of partnership, and it's a 23, 23 is, does it equal a five, which means that there's changes abound ahead of you. But it also is the 11 on the hour clock. And if you think of Aquarius, it's the 11th house in the natural horoscope, in the natural zodiac. But you, um, in your partnership house, it's other people, it's the house of Aquarius. So you may be dealing with someone that is very bright, very ingenious. Remember, Aquarius is very intelligent. And Aquarius says, I know, that is their motto, the truth is that they are very intelligent. I just hope that you're not dealing with someone that has got strong ego and, you know, I know this and I know that. Nevertheless, we've also got the eighth house endings and beginnings, and it's another five. So it's 32, which equals a five again. Interesting. And we've got Scorpio, Aquarius, you are Leo. I've already mentioned uh, Taurus in the emperor they are the four fixed energies let's see what else is going on as you're going through transformation remember mercury is transiting the sign of scorpio so things that haven't been um, shown to us will be we'll be having conversations that can be very deep and i'm going to say that um, if you're using your higher mind your right side of the brain, which is our higher mind, that's the Aquarian um, mind, right? Sorry about that background noise. So yes, eighth house, Scorpio, goes really deep and it's going to be interesting that some of you may have already felt trusting in your higher mind about what's going on with your partnerships. Remember that the uh, house opposite you is all relationships to others. It's not only love, okay? This is a general reading. Let's see what's going on with the Moonology. Moonology Oracle. So how is the moon affecting you, Leo, at this time? Yes, so I did mention Taurus as the full moon on the 31st on Halloween will be happening in the sign of Taurus, and opposite Taurus is Scorpio. 
So that's the fixed cross, okay? You are a fixed sign, just like Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. So fixed energies are quite hard to move. They don't like change. There is a sense of stubbornness. Now, the most stubborn sign out of the four is a Taurus. We all know that. <laughs> anyway, we've all got our good side and our bad side, our light side and our shadow side. Let's see for Leo, please, Spirit. We've got Taurus. Full moon in Taurus. Oh, my God. Your dreams need a practical plan. So you're either dealing with another Taurus, um, could be an Aquarius, okay, full moon in Taurus, as I said, that is happening on Halloween. So it's a second consecutive full moon in the same month, which makes it a blue moon. So you need a practical plan, Leo. And you're fire, you're not earth, so you need to be more grounded. You need to... Um, um, set out a practical plan for what's coming in for you, what you're trying to manifest. Now, full moon means an ending. Remember also through, through Taurus, the uh, ruling planet of Aquarius is moving through Taurus, and this is radical change. It's sudden changes where our money is concerned, where our values are concerned. Okay, this is a revolution. Uranus in Taurus is a revolution. Okay, so if there has been no worth in what you've been working towards, trying to bring into your life, you need a practical plan or there could be a sudden change. I see Uranus as a tower moment. So let's see, let's see what else we've got here and I will be taking a Gaia Oracle at the end of the reading. So stick around, let's see what's going on here. What's this Emperor all about, Place Spirit? Why do we have this emperor here? And we have the seven of cups. So this is Pisces. Piscean energy means unconditional love, but it can also mean illusion. Um, Pisces is, well, it's, as I say with Pisces, it's the ending of a certain cycle, maybe, because Pisces is spiritual, but it can also be, an illusion. Now, Seven of Cups means that things are up in the air. You've got many choices. You don't know which one of these cups to take. And Sevens are spiritual, but they're also conflict. Let's take another card. And we've got the Five of Swords, which means competition. Now, you may be dealing with someone that has got a lot of choices, someone that is quite popular, okay, as the Five of Swords is harsh energies. I usually see three people in this card. And as you can see, it's um, it's a cutting energy. And another five means changes. Leo, changes are here for everyone. But the card here, the Whispers of Love, says be in the present and dream of the future, which means in the present, it's asking for you to still put in the effort, okay, even though you may not be able to see which is the right path for you, you know, which path you need to go down. The Five of Swords means you're in a state of competition, competition to reach that pinnacle position of the Emperor or to get, you know, be um, the one that's going to open the heart of this Emperor if this is love. So let's have a look at the Three of Cups. Let's take a couple of cards. We've got the Fool, and the Fool is Aries energy. They do say many times that the Emperor could be in Aries, but I do see it's the beginning of a cycle. It's a brand new cycle. And the Fool, remember, takes a risk and jumps off that cliff. The Fool wants to go on its journey. It started a new journey, and this is in the distant past for you. Let's see. Let's take another card. We've got the Three of Swords, so obviously you felt as though you were taken for a fool. Three of Swords, there's that three. We've got three, Five of Swords shows three people. We've got the Three of Cups. Some of you may have been hoping for a, a reconciliation in the distant past, but maybe that was not able to 
to happen. You needed to do more work. There was more work to be done. Now, the emperor, it's, it's like a fork in the road. To get to that top of the mountain, let's say, the work is hard. The work is constant and it's, uh, I, it's, it's challenging, as I know these next two months are going to be an uphill battle for everyone in a certain area of life, maybe even more than one area of life. What's this Eight of Pentacles, please? We've got the Eight of Cups. Wow. So, some of you are, in the recent past, some of you were ready to walk away. Some of you thought that your, your efforts were not, will not be rewarded. And some of you may have walked away or you thought about walking away as you've still got the Two of Pentacles here. Let's take that Two of Pentacles. Now, you could be working with this person. This could be a situation at work. What I do notice here with the Eight of Cups is that she's walking towards the sun and she's looking for, she's looking for those Two of Cups that are missing. Right, so some of you may be walking away, truly, and walking towards your calling. Remember, the sun is our soul. You're connecting with your soul and you're going on a journey. This could also speak of spiritual growth through these challenges. Let's have a look at the Two of Pentacles. We've got the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands says to me that you've been through quite a bit. You've been through quite a bit. Nine of Wands can speak of ghosting as well. Some of you may have ghosted this Emperor, okay, because you've got the Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands, I said Knight. That's weird why I said that. Let's take another card on that Nine of Wands. We've got the Ten of Swords. Wow. Ten of Swords means the ending. It means the darkest before the dawn. It's like you're going through the dark night of the soul here. This choice is so difficult. You feel as though you cannot do this anymore. And then the sun comes through. Just when you think that it can't get any worse, it's gotten to its worst position. You're fearing the worst. Let's have a look at that sun. As you go from the five of swords to the ten, we have the page of cups. And we have, let's take another card, please, Spirit. Now, the Page of Cups we know can be an apology. It's a small offer of love. Page of Cups can also be a child. Let's take another card. We've got the High Priestess, which is Pisces, again, and Virgo energy. Let's have a look at that Eight of Wands, which Eight of Wands is energy is coming through quickly, quick movement, quick messages. We've got the Two of Cups here. Wow. One more card on that Two of Cups, which we know is a soulmate connection. Some of you are leaving an emperor in the past. You are moving towards more love to a better connection, to some form of an agreement. If this is Business, some of you are leaving a position if there, have, there was too much, too much competition. It was doing your head in as, uh, that's what I'm going to say with this card. Look at this. So some of you are dropping the ball here and giving up on this connection with this emperor. Others of you, you've been hoping for a, a promotion. You've been trying to trust your intuition. Let's take... Let's take, because we've got the Two of Cups here, which is, it's at the beginning, right? You've got the Three of Cups here, here is the Two. So we go back a step. Let's take another card on that. And we've got the Five of Cups again. You're mourning the, those three cups that have been spilt. And we've got Five and Two is Seven Cups again. Look, clarity will come after confusion. Clarity comes through, communication comes through. The, the fact is, what are you going to do about it? Yes, you're trusting your intuition. And the high priestess many times could be the third person. So if you've been the third person, if this emperor 
was connected to someone else. We've also got a child here. Let's take one more card. And we've got the Knight of Wands, which I said up here. Wow. And the Knight of Wands is someone that moves towards their desires, towards what they want to manifest. The Knight of Wands is carrying a torch, right? He carries a torch and he runs with it. Now that is running with your desire. That's someone running to come in. Someone who's taking action because the emperor is not doing anything. He sits on his throne and he just orders. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. We've got the page of wands and it looks like a lot of happiness. I see a lot of happiness and someone ready to take a risk. Remember the page of wands could be a message. And the ten of cups, dear Leo. Ten of cups, bliss, happiness. After a lot of worry, fearing that your dream, your, your partnership, your relationship, your job, whatever this is, you thought that it was not going to come through. But I do see here with the Page of Wands, yes, and the Page of Wands can be the player. I'm not going to um, rule that out. But I feel that the Page of Wands, because it is Sagittarian energy, in the Two of Cups, I do see um, different skin colors. So you could be dealing with someone that is at a distance. This emperor um, may have been someone from a distance, someone that was had many commitments, someone that was not ready and open to speak their truth. Um, yes, someone that could have had a lot of choices. It looks like love is coming through here. Someone is ready to take action towards it as there is a major transformation going on for you. And it says, be in the present and dream of the future. Let's take another card and I'm going to say, pay attention to your dreams with the High Priestess. All this Piscean energy, it does speak of dreams. Let's take another card. And we've got the Eight of Swords and a lot of swords have been showing up. In these readings, a lot of swords, especially the eights and nines, which tell me that we're at the end of the hardship. We're at the end of having to do the work and not knowing what's going on because, because we cannot see the outcome. We're in the swords energy. Remember, this is your thoughts, your perception. Let's take another card. And we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I knew it. I knew that this was the case. So do not self-sabotage yourself, dear Leo. Trust your intuition. Be in the present and just dream of the future. And when we dream, we manifest, okay? Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords. So you've got the Eight, Nine and Ten of Swords. Five of Pentacles, you have been in this energy. Wow. Okay. I do feel that uh, you may have been dealing with someone that was connected to another partner or this was someone that has been in your life for, for some time. Okay. This connection has been percolating. It's been going through much test. Okay. But I feel that you needed to get to rock bottom and maybe that was the way that this emperor needed to have their heart open. Remember that the Page of Wands is the Aries energy. And with Mars retrograding in the sign of Aries, it's all about the warrior doing the work. Whether this is you, okay, so we're talking about stamina now. Whether this is you or whether this is the other person. And you've got the Nine of Cups, you've got the Eight, Nine, you've got the Seven, Eight, nine and ten of cups dear leo so let's see let's see what's going on with the gaia oracle for you i actually want to take just one more card on that five of cups so what's that five of cups please spirit as it is you know we're looking at the glass half empty rather than half full and we've got the Six of Swords, which is movement. 
and these um, ravens are actually pulling the boat, okay, which means there is help there, okay, there is help, it's as though we're halfway there. Some of you, yes, may be in the lockdown and slowly, slowly we're halfway there, the doors will open for flight travel, for movement towards metaphorically and physically towards our goal, whatever that is for you, Leo. And we've got two cards, two cards, thank you, Spirit. We have the Tree of Life, which is the number one, fertility, which is the Empress, creativity, destiny, magical blessings, Leo. And we've got the nine of hearts, fulfillment, harmony, and protection. This is 37, which turns into a 10 and breaks into down to a one again. You've got new beginnings all round. New beginnings now because we've got be in the present and dream of the future. It's a number four. Four means commitment. Remember that ace of pentacles. Okay. Now I'm going to say some of you could be leaving an Aquarius because when I mentioned Saturn, the ancient ruler of Aquarius is Saturn, the emperor, of course, because I do see it as Capricorn, even though we do say he is. Um, it's the Aries energy, the warrior, Taurus as well for me. Whatever the case is, the emperor, to get to the position of the emperor is not easy. It's an uphill battle. Okay, so getting to the top is not easy. We all know that. And it's a time of growth for you, Leo. But when you get to the outcome, you've got the Nine of Hearts, which is like the, the Nine of Cups. Your wish becomes reality. Okay, so that's what I feel. So it's worth the uh, energies you're working with now. It's worth the work you're, you've been putting in. Remember, Eighth House, endings and beginnings. You have been going through an ending. Some of you are literally closing the door on an emperor, we do have the Knight of Wands here, and I should say that this could be another person for some of you, someone that's coming through as a knight, okay? So there's different uh, energies, different messages here. It's not the same for all of you. All right, so thank you very much, dear Leo. I do wish you well. Thank you so much for all that you do. Sending you much love, much light. Talk to you soon.